Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to do a journal page and I got, I got a few uh, questions and a few uh, requests actually that are kind of the same. Um, when I did this painting the other day, somebody asked me uh, if this was considered mixed media. And I thought about it for a second because I do find myself being a mixed media artist um, because I love it. Um, oh, don't get dizzy. I don't know why my camera's doing this. I think because it's so hot. And I had the windows open a little bit and it got a little humid in here, so I had to shut them. Um, actually, when I thought about it and I looked at this, um, I'm not going to say that's mixed media. Uh, mixed media is... I mean, this is more, I guess, acrylic painting in my art journal. Maybe I should uh, make that a little bit more clear in my, uh, you know, in my title. Um, but I, I think I just call this an art journal page. But um, so a couple people asked me to do something similar to this uh, and just paint with regular acrylic paints, not using mixed media and just painting straight up. Um, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't, but I don't. I've never really thought that deep into it, but I understand if you're becoming a mixed media artist or you want to be a mixed media artist and you're looking at things and I say this is mixed media, to you, it might not be. Um, the only thing I can say about this being mixed media as of right now, um, I did have paper for the hair, but that's a long story and why I took it off. But I did use water soluble pencils in this, which is a different media than the acrylic. So I guess technically it's mixed media, but not really. Um, I didn't even finish the crown. I was just playing. But um, so, yeah. So I don't know. Let's do another journal page and see. This is our uh, junk journal. And I show this all the time. This is my magazine that I turned into a journal. Very easy. Very simple. I have many videos on it. A lot of people have videos on it. You can definitely find it. Um, you know, so I'm sorry, my phone. Um, I swear if it's not F, uh, F I was going to say something. If it's not Facebook, I was going to say FB. I don't know why. <laughs> if it's not Facebook, ding, and it's my phone. And I know I hardly ever have my phone off. So on. So if it goes off a lot, I'm going to turn it off. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this magazine and I'm going to uh, gesso it because I want the background. No, I'm not going to gesso it. You know what I'm going to do? A lot of you ask me to do things without gesso because you guys don't have gesso. So let's do something else. I'm going to take a piece of uh, paper. It's going to be book text. Okay, this is out of a music book, but you use whatever you have. Um, you can definitely get... Um, these at the dollar store, you know, just regular books. I have tons of them. I use them, but this is something, um, that somebody sent me, uh, just a piece of music paper. And this is what I'm going to use, except I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to take my decoupage, decoupage from Americana. Yeah. And drop it because my hands are bad today, but that's all right. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this I'm not going to just away. I'm going to do it out there for all you all who ask me uh, to do things without me just sewing them, which I like to do as well. Show you guys different ways. Why not? All right. So obviously this is a slick surface. It's, you know, it's a magazine page, a little slick, a little glossy. Um, you can still paint on it, but if you don't want to and you want to use gesso or in your art journal or if you're painting or whatever you want to do, if you don't have gesso, do this little trick with some book pages or any scrapbook paper that you have. Now, I've shown you how I do mixed media where I rip it up and I put it everywhere. This is going to be something different. Eh? Different. Eh? Is that even a word? I'm feeling fancy making up my own language. I'm sure you guys will let me know if it's not a real word. You guys will pop my language bubble. <laughs> I love making up my own words. All right. So you see what I'm doing? Look what I'm doing. You can use uh, decoupage. You can use white school glue uh, with a little bit of water in it. I, got, I do that all the time. I'm starting my uh, starting things back up where I... I'm doing everything that I used to do for everybody, like dropping stuff on the desk because, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scream. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down, lay it down like this. All right. 
like this. Does it have to be spot on perfect? No, but give it a little mush, a mush a mush. And faux gessoed, hello. All right, so I want it to stick. Now you might have parts that, you know, need a little bit more glue or whatever, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now because I'm not gonna keep you here a day and a week, a week and a day, a day and a week. <laughs> Oh dear, what a day. Okay, so let's pretend we're all glued down and everything's okay. All right, now what are we gonna do? Well, let's uh, sketch something out that we wanna draw. Um, I will use my pencil. <laughs> I can find my pencil. Oh, where's my pencil? Did I take it in the other room because I was drawing? You never know with me. Here's one. And uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to do a angel type thing. So what I'm going to do is now I'm not worrying about painting this yet. We will in a second. Um, you definitely can use your Stabilo, but I know a lot of you get angry that, um, or get not angry. I shouldn't say that word. A lot of you want me to use pencil as well, because some of you don't have Stabilos or water soluble. Um, and I totally dig it. I totally get it. So therefore I'm using a pencil, same thing. So what I'm going to do is I want to, I want her to be, the main thing. So I'm going to kind of draw up and draw down, <laughs> get it up there. Cause that's what I was doing. Okay. And then I'm just kind of sketching out kind of how I want it. I know her little shoulders right here and then her head. So can you guys see that? I know it's really hard. No, I don't want to use my other pencil, but what I'll do is I'll do it in, um, in dark. All right. Now you guys know that I do do my arms going this way because it's easier for me and for people who don't like to do hands. I, I, I do. One of my goals is to, um, start doing things I don't want to do <laughs> and, and drawing not, or that I, I, I'm not great at, but you know, um, like eyelashes, arms, hands, that kind of thing. So I'm going to be working on that. If you guys want me to work along, if you guys want to work along with me on video, let me know, because as I start practicing and learning, I could do it on video and you guys can practice and learn as well. But if you really don't care about doing that and you just want to do it like, like I'm doing and you don't want to, um, see that kind of thing, then let me know. Don't let me know. Don't tell me that you want to do it. It's all right. It's okay with me. All right. So the neck, I think the neck might be a little bit too. And this is just a sketch. This isn't, you know, what you have to do. Um, I'm going to do my hand like this. All right. My chair is very meh today. And then I think I'm going to do just some wings. Because I'm into angels right now. I've been into angels. I collect angels. Who am I kidding? Um, I'm not trying to be fancy. I have tons of angels around my house because I love them and I've been collecting them for years. So I draw a lot of them. I've done a lot of commissions and a lot of things that involve angels. So I'm just going to do that face. Now let me move you in just for a second so you guys can see. Or maybe not because it's kind of weird. You know what? I taped my, I moved my camera because I was doing something and I didn't put it up as far as I wanted it. But can you kind of see um, what I'm going to do now is go back for a second. And I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my um, black paint or maybe I should use a marker. Um, Where's my marker? My things I just bought. Oh, if I was organized, what a winner I would be. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. All right. What did I do with that? I hate when I do stuff like this. I'm just going to use black paint because not everybody has um, markers and all that. So let me just get my black acrylic paint. I don't use anything other. I mean, I don't use anything but uh, craft paint when I'm in my art journal. Um, however, you use whatever your little heart desires because I just think whatever you have, it works. You want a small brush like that you know my famous small brush i always show okay and i'm just going to take a little bit on the tip and i'm just going to go in and i'm going to outline with it okay that's it very sketchy yes i'm very sketchy <laughs> and um 
this is just going to be letting me know where my lines are. So instead of using your water soluble, use it like this. Get yourself a brush. Now let me tell you a hint. Let me tell you a tip. If you don't have a small brush, right? Because I know a lot of you don't. You guys let me know. And um, I'm going to do a giveaway. A lot of you ask if like one of my giveaways I can do a couple small brushes. And of course, I love helping you guys. And I know, you know, that you guys, uh, you know, it, costs, it does cost a lot when you're going out and trying to buy stuff that you want. Okay, so can you see where we're heading here? I'm just sketching it out as if I'm using a marker or, and this is just as good. I'm just as good. So see, I've done two things here. I've done two things here that I've not, that I've used different um, tools for, right? So normally what I've been doing lately obsessively, I've been using my water soluble pencils with the, that make them dark, right? To sketch out. And I got the same basic thing right here, but I didn't use anything uh, other than black paint and my paintbrush. And this is going to dry and it's permanent and it's fantastic. Now, um, this is a great way to do it. Also for your mixed media backgrounds, use a piece of, uh, paper, scrapbook paper, book paper, music paper, whatever you got, use it in one fail swoop. You don't have to spend the time. I know uh, quite a few of you let me know, uh, tell me about your hands and I completely, I am so empathetic to that because I get it. My hands kill me. And yeah, sometimes ripping the papers up and doing all that. Um, some people don't like that. Um, I go through my moods in and out, obviously. I'm, I'm sure we all have moods. And um, so you don't have to do that. You don't have to do it. Just put a piece of paper over your magazine uh, page that you made into your junk journal or whatever junk journal you have. Do you not? A lot of people don't like to waste paint like I do. <laughs> I don't waste it, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I, I draw things. I put things down and I wash over it and all that kind of thing. And some people don't like to do that. Um, Paint can be expensive. And when you go out and you buy your Roy G. Biv Black and White, like I always tell you guys starting out, you don't want to throw all that paint down. So do it with a piece of full uh, paper and all that, and then we can play on that as well. So use this as your wash, right? Okay. I hope that makes sense because honestly, lately, I'm not making much sense. So I'm going in and just going to do that, and I'm just going to kind of go in and trace this head because I want the head to be this size because it's going to be part of this. So you guys can see, and what I'm going to do on this, I'm not going to do any legs or anything. I'm just taking this bad boy all the way down like that. Now, how great is that? We've done, I've done nothing other than use a piece of scrap paper. Look, use tissue paper. Use whatever you have on this. And if you don't have an art journal or a junk journal and you just want to play, get out a piece of printer paper and then put a piece of paper on top of it or glue another piece of printer paper on top of printer paper to make it more secure and do the same thing. It's okay. You don't have to put anything down like that. Just use your, your printer paper. You guys know I'm all in, I'm not into telling you guys, um, you know, golden and Liquitex and, and, you know, uh, what's the other book brand I have? Um, you know, I love the deco art and they're so affordable. Um, so, you know, deco art's fantastic. Uh, folk art, ceramic coat, they're all fantastic. Um, especially when you're starting out, if you have a couple of extra dollars and you want to try, um, a Liquitex. Now Liquitex also has basics brand, which is more of a craft paint than a artist paint, which is, you know, kind of what we're using, you know, with these kind of things. But, um, you know, you want to try something. I always say, uh, you know, go with the basic colors when you're trying something and spending money on something a little bit more, uh, costly than, uh, craft paints. Um, so go for your Roy G. Bit Black White as well, because you can mix them and get a lot of great colors. But if you want to try them and you, and they're great, they're not, there's nothing wrong with them, but sometimes I don't have the money. I sit and stare at them at the store, just stare longingly at the store. All right. So here we go. Um, let me see here. All right. I thought I didn't turn record on and I'm like, I'm just sitting here talking to myself. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paint this white. Now I'm going to use not titanium. Well, you know what? Yeah. I'll just use regular white. Here's what we'll do. I'm just going to squirt it on here. I'm not going to do, you know, anything, excuse me, anything like that. And I'm going to mix a little bit of brown in here any kind of brown. This is um, the Bambi brown, but you can use any brown that you have. Just use a little less if it's darker, 
but no big deal. And what I'm going to do is kind of mix this on here because I want it to kind of be antique looking. And I don't care if it has little uh, streaks in it because of, um, you know, I didn't mix it well enough because it just gives it more attitude. Now I'm going all the way down, but I'm going to be cutting some of this paper off. If you can see, I'm folding it right here and that's where the page ends, but I don't care. So I won't concentrate too much down there. But, all right. And I'm going to see how I'm going like this. And what that's going to do when it dries is just give a little bit of texture. Okay. So then I'm going to go in here and this is pretty much a big brush, a big, too big of a brush, but I'm going to make it work. Work it. All right. Okay. Perfection does not exist. Just paint. Because we're going to go back and outline again anyway, because that's how I like to do it. And then I'm going to just run this down the arm. I, t I turn it to the side when I'm using a bigger brush, right? Let me just do this and just kind of sweep it down like that. And then we have the wings, which I will do. A, you know what? Maybe I'll just put, since I have all this paint on here, maybe I'll just go in here and this will act like my gesso for here. It's going to like get on that paper. So when I go over it uh, with the color that I want to do, it'll be nice. And have a nice surface. All right. So you can see we did the. We did part of the neck, I mean, part of the uh, dress. Now here's what you do. I have a lot of paint left on this and I don't like that. So I'm going to go to another page. Apparently I like, oh no, what is that? Not that page. I'm going to go to another page and I'm going to clean my brush off on it. And this will be my brush off page, right? And it'll become gessoed. A faux gesso, like I like to call it. All right, so then I'm going to put my brush in there. Now I'm going to go for the face, and of course, I'm just going to go for a flesh color, any flesh color that you have. I have videos where I've made flesh colors. Um, I'm going to redo that as well because a lot of you ask about that. And uh, But I do have, if you go onto my main page, click my name under this video. It'll take you to my main YouTube page, and when you get on there, you can uh, go up to the about section and next to that is a search. And if you search in there, whatever you want to see, if you want to see mixed media, art journaling, uh, clay, what, whatever, all my videos of that subject will come up. So, so there, all right. So, <laughs> so I did the face looking good and I'm going to do the hair. Now, normally when I do, art journals or draw or do whatever. I always do the background first. I'm doing the background um, last on this. And I don't know why I just started doing it like this and I feel like it today, but you don't have to. You do whatever way you want to do. Um, what color hair? What color hair? What color hair? Um, I gotta find, let me see. I don't wanna do too funky, funky. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. All right. Let's see. Where's all my colors? Oh, there you go, Cal. All right, I'm just going to use some brown. And one second, please. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Okay. So I'm going to take some brown, whatever brown you have, use black, use red, use pink. I don't care. Use whatever you have. I just paint out of the cap because that's just how I am. And I'm going to kind of take it down like this and just give her some hair. It's going to go behind her though. A little bit. Now, I've mentioned before I do commissions, and a couple of you have asked. Uh, I've gotten commissions out of it because you guys email me. But um, if you do want me to do any commission for you, um, let me know. All you have to do is message me, and I'll gladly, uh, I'll gladly do it. I've done done quite a few already, but uh, I love it. Uh, that's how I really started out doing things. Um, I do have a video of commissions uh, that I've done. They're paintings. But if you go on my Facebook page and go through my pictures, you'll see. You'll see a lot of different commissions I've done. So you can go on my Etsy 
which it's knitting and things, and you can request it there. You can request different colors for things or paintings, whatever you want. All right, so we got our hair going. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to add a face on her. Maybe I, I, don't, I don't know. Not right now. I'm not, I'm not going to right now. Now I have some blue on here. Um, I mean some brown on here. So what I'm going to do is kind of make this her, and I'll go over it with my lining, but I'm going to make that like kind of her neck a little bit. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's on her dress and I'll go back with that in a momento. Do I want to add a face? I don't know. You can, you definitely can. I'm going to real quick dry all this. I had my desk cleaned up so nice and because I've been here doing paintings and working on stuff, um, it's back to being messy. All right, so I'm going to let this dry for us just for a second on its own. And what we're going to start doing is the background. So the background that I want to do, I'm loving blue, different color blue backgrounds, and I don't quite know why, but I think I'm just going to go for it and use the same blues that I used yesterday. Light blue, dark blue, and then some white. And this is how I'm going to do it. Just little dabs here and there. Little dabs will do ya. And then a little bit of white. I know this is so wrong, I'm sure, to some people, but this is how I do things because I like to paint and I like to smush around. So I'm going to go light, you know, lightest to dark, and I'm going to go into that blue, into that white, and I'm just going to paint. And I like it a little streaky, but you can definitely do whatever you want. Make it like, you know, and I'm going to kind of drag this like this back and forth. And I'll use a smaller brush to get into all the details, but got on her hair. This brush, I'm gonna just do like that. It's blending a little bit more than I want it to, but that's okay because I can go in and throw in more paint if I want it. Clean that brush off on the background so you get all that paint off. And then a little bit more. Now what I like to do, I'm just going to smear some of that blue on there. I'm not worried too much because I'll I'll put more colors on there to kind of go through it. But what I do want to do is, whew, a little warm. I'm going to take a little bit more on my paintbrush and go into here. And just kind of cut it in a little bit. See how, it, just very, very easy. Just use the part of your brush, the ends, the ends, <laughs> what the heck? Very simple. And then let's take a little bit more. I'm going to rinse my brush though. Does that sound enjoyable? Oh yeah. Probably got to change that water. Okay. So I'm just going to do little driplets here and there. Nothing too fancy. A little bit of white. And the white comes out like a champ. Just want it to kiss it. Just give it a kiss. And then just kind of throw it through. Get them edges if you want them. I mean, it's your art journal page. Or it could be your, you know, if you want to do a painting like this. I'm going to take some of this white like this. And I'm going to just trace. Just kind of go up around. Not perfect, but just kind of. A little bit of light 
around. Nothing too fancy, just lighten it a little bit and then bring these in. I love the streaks. I don't know why. I just love these dark streaks, so. Just kind of dragging. And you can keep going, keep going. I'm not gonna keep continue doing it, but uh, you can definitely, maybe I'll do a little bit more blue, the darker blue on my, oh my gosh, my dog's choking. You all right, Yosh? God, so humid here again. I don't know if your dogs, your dogs have allergies and like choke when it gets humid out and you know, I hate, I don't like giving them Benadryl and stuff, even though the vet tells us to, but I just, I don't like doing it unless they really need it. But, uh, you know, they don't go outside, but to go to the bathroom and half the time they hate going outside anyway. So I don't know. All right. So we have that and I always like to do something that they're holding. I always like to go to the, uh, the hearts. So I'm going to take my, use your red paint and put your hand on the paint there. That's already wet. And I'm just going to kind of sketch this out. Hmm. Try to do a couple. Let me try. Bless you. Poor dogs. Let me just try like that. I don't know. I think I'm going to put in just a little mouth. No, no, don't. Don't do it, Kelly. Don't do it. All right. Now I'm going to work on the wings, but I want the wings like a, uh, huh. Let me see if I have. Where is it? Is this gold? Please be gold. Raw umber light. That's not gold. That's not gold. Come on. I know I have gold. All right. You know what I'm going to use? I'm going to use some raw sienna in them wings. And that's what this looks like. It's not gold. It looks like poopy brown. Like in a baby diaper. But I'm just going to kind of drop it in. Because remember, I'm going to outline those two again. Okay. A little bit more. And it could be, it doesn't have to be solid. I mean, you see, I got like some lines and stuff in there. It's all right because it's wings and they have texture. Right? So I got that. And then I need, and then I need some gold. Where are you, gold? Where are you? I know I have gold. Come on. What the heck? What the heck? Where's my gold? Antique gold. All right. Antique gold. It's Americana. Antique gold. I'm going to dip my brush in there and I'm going to. Lay it on there. And what I'm going to do is okay. I should have put, should have gave a little bit more room for a halo, shouldn't I have? But we'll just take it off the page. Kind of like that. No big deal. Kind of looks like horns. Oh, that would be cool. If I put horns on her and made her creepy with bloody hearts. I'm not going to do that. But that would be something I would do. Maybe I'll turn it into that when I'm done. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to take my paper towel or rag or whatever. And very Keep moving the paper towel when you do it so you don't put or what, your rag, whatever. And you can see I'm just going to pick up some of that so it gets a little bit more texture. And... Let's go back to, all right, I'm probably not going to leave those horns there, but let's go back to our black and outline a little bit more, a little bit better now that we have most of it drawn and painted. And you know what else you could do? Dip it in the water and make it uh, like ink. Right, so when you go down, it just kind of st 
just flows a little bit more. And your brush will start dragging once you need more paint on it. Okay. Very sketchy, nothing, nothing too bad. Nothing too uh, harsh to do. And we'll go in here. You can use a marker as well. Alcohol, ink, whatever you want. Maybe I'll trace out our hair a little bit. Just your art journal. It's just, it's preparing you to do other things. Gonna give her a little bit of that. See how it just comes to life a little bit. And then these will just attach. Very simple. Nothing major. We're just playing. And we can definitely color these in if we want. Not doing it very well, but if I sat here and took the time, it would be better. But that's good for me. And then do a nice quote or do some background work if you want. But honestly, this is just a regular acrylic painting. I am, uh, I think I'm gonna do these. All right, so this is, this is what it looks like. Hello, very good, let's use some horns. Uh, they go off the page too much. We'll just leave it like that. As a matter of fact, I'm going to take that off because I didn't realize I wasn't thinking, but yeah, it's not going to look like horns once it goes off the page. Uh, that'll be another painting I will do. A creepy, like a little creepier journal page or painting. Who knows? But that's it. I mean, that's fun. Now you can go and you can texture your dress if you want, or, you know, I can see in my thing that, you know, this is a little bumpy, whatever. Hey, lay down. Oh, these dogs today. Um, but I mean, that's basically it. You don't have to do a face if you don't want. Um, and, and you're done here, but you can continue on and so many things. Put a nice quote, put hearts, butterflies, whatever you want around it. If you want to do a face, then take, you know, I love pen. I use pens a lot when I do this, just playing, but uh, you can go in. And you could draw your face in. Yoshi. She's our barker. I don't know. You can do a simple nose and a simple mouth, and then you can paint it. It's not a big deal. If you do it with your pen and you don't like it, watch. It's black. Never give up. Always continue. And then you wipe it off and then you go back with your face paint, paint over it and it's good. You want to put some cheeks on or you want to do whatever. It's all up to you. Make it whatever way you want. But this is just real quick, real quick. No, nothing fancy, no mixed media. Oh my goodness, these dogs. Um, but that's it. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And this is just a real quick playing around, showing you how to do uh, outlining and all, you know, without the pencil, uh, just using your paint. And I hope you guys tried. If you do, you know, always tag me, send them to me. I'm everywhere all over the internet. And I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.